So it is in your professional opinion, as a psychic, that our Earth, as we know it, will be consumed by what you call negative energy or dark emotions. And you claim this will happen within 36 minutes. Yes, uh, that is how I interpreted my vision. But you're a psychic, right? I mean, that is your area of expertise. Well. Yes, but it, it's all very complicated. So we're all doomed. Fantastic. Well, folks, that's all we got left for today. Join us tomorrow for our special guest interview with the ancient druid Carl Minxt. See you next time on Arcane. Seriously, where do we get these letters from? Death by negative energy, dark emotions? Larry, we only have 20 minutes left. Any last requests? Well, I wouldn't mind if I lost a little weight. You know, because I put on a few pounds over the summertime. 20 minutes won't be long enough for you, my friend. Seriously, though, <laughs> what kind of Neanderthal enjoys watching this crap? Harold! Speaking of Neanderthal. Harold! Great work today! Great work today! Ratings are on the rise. Arcane is a huge success. We'll be on the cover soon of Time and Rolling Stone. Oh, I can see the cover of Rolling Stone now. Kinky. Stressful. And Arcane. Well, now that actually sounds like something that I would watch. Yeah, that's my point exactly. <laughs> right, news to Burn the attitudes. This story's a success, just waiting to be written up, and I won't have you two ruining it. Got it? Understood? Yeah. We still working on that magician's act? Unfortunately. Brilliant. Good. Have it ready for next week's show. What a kind and generous man. With all that wisdom to lead us. How the show's still in the air, I will never know. It's magic, you know, like uh, like the eighth wonder of the world, or like true love. <laughs> true love? How could I forget? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Again. I'm sorry. <sighs> Suit yourself. You know, I've actually started a new exercise program. Fascinating. Do go on. Tell me what other most interesting thing has happened to you. Well, nothing really. Oh, there's, uh, there's some lady reporter here to see you. She's like waiting for you right now. Well, unfortunately, I have a much awaited appointment with a satirically large whiskey bottle. I'll tell her you're busy. I'll be in my office. Okay. <clears throat> My name is Rachel Tyra. I contacted you earlier. I represent News um, 5. Mr. Sykes is unavailable and won't be able to meet with you tomorrow. Ah, Mr. Tyra. Mr. Sykes at your service. Oh, really? 
Then you won't mind answering some questions. Oh, no, not at all. I've got a few questions of my own. Oh, Mr. Reed. Thank you again for coming, sir. I hope everything's up to your satisfaction. I'm sure this merger will indeed benefit us both. Oh, it shall indeed, sir. It shall indeed. Ah, Harold, impeccable timing. Let me introduce you to Mr. Reed. He represents the Mobius Corporation. Yes, Corporation, Corporation. We've got some planning to do. <laughs> some planning. <laughs> Mr. Reed, I give you Harold Seitz, the host of Arcane. <laughs> Hello. Um, they bought the show? Well, Joan, I don't wish to take up any more of your time. Oh, before I forget, I'll be paying you a visit tomorrow. Hope you don't mind. Did he just... walk with me, my boy? Strange fellow, that Mr. Reed, don't you think? But it doesn't matter, because luck's on our side today. Oh, I don't think luck's got anything to do with it. I mean, do you actually know anything about them? Do you think I would engage in someone who's shifty? You had them traced, didn't you? They work for the government. Oh. There's a research and intelligence agency. They're rock solid. Besides, how did you go with that reporter today? Weird. She kept asking me about the show's supernatural elements of where we got our stories from. I couldn't help but shake the feeling that she's hiding something from me. Hmm, you know? We could win really big here. We play our cards right. Now, our star needs a rest, and I'm heading to the den. I'll see you back here tomorrow morning, bright and early. We've got some planning to do. So what must be understood about the history of the supernatural is that it's comprised of injustice mm -hmm. and severe discrimination. I see. So when did the violence towards the supernatural folk decrease and what was the reason for this change? Well, we can't pin an exact date as it didn't just stop on one specific day but changed over time. So research suggests that the violence abated or began to around the 1400s. Hmm. So this has been happening for um, quite some time. Um, are we still on, guys? Well, this puts things into perspective. The light and the dark, knowledge. <laughs> Ignorance. And yes, 600 years of hiding. Hiding from those who tend to shield their fear and ignorance with arrogance and brutality. Well, skipping past the part where I ask where the hell did you just come from? Who are you really? This uh, representative act is wearing a little thin, don't you think? Who am I? Who am I? Well, that all depends on who you are, Mr. Seitz. Are you a slave to the common man, foolishly following the rats so you're not left behind? Or are you a man befriended with the gift of common sense and knowledgeable that things aren't always as they seem? We're all rats in a maze. What do you want from me? Your trust that what we do and what you will do for us is of a benefit to all. And what is it you do? <laughs> Many things. You um, say this has been going on for about 600 years. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, knowing your reputation, I'll assume you're knowledgeable on what you call supernatural history. Do you find it odd that a mere 600 years ago, witches were hunted and burned and drowned? Well, now they're loved, idolized, and revered. Okay, okay, 
Okay, so what has this got to do with the Mobius Corporation? Everything! We are the core reason for this very change. We've shaped, molded, and engineered a new kind of society. One which presents us with an opportunity to live. So you, uh, so you work for the government? We work for ourselves. You may call us supernatural folk or your best friends. <laughs> this is a joke, right? I, I mean, what do you want with our show? What do you want from me? Your belief in us, to begin with. Everything else can wait. What the hell is he doing? Say something! Move! Psst, psst. Uh, are you alright? Uh, uh, yes, yes. I, I was just thinking of a question I wanted to ask you, and I, uh, I blanked out. Um, so, so we were talking about the history of violence towards the supernatural. Well, I don't know. You just sort of froze out there. I was about to tell the whole crew to, like, pull the plug. Larry, I'm all right. I just had a little flash, which was, yes, intense and admittedly creepy. But I'm fine. You heard voices. Well, thank God for that. Uh, maybe you should consider taking a few days off? Larry, seriously. I'm fine. Well, I had to be sure. Uh, oh, this guy came by with a package for you, and there was a little uh, note with it here as well. Are you sure you're all right? Ha 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 